Hey hi welcome back to Pixel Lab learning by doing platform hope you all are doing well yeah please do like and share and subscribe to my channel because i'm doing a lot of hard work for this it's okay today we are going to do the activity 2 from the standard 8 mathematics book and that one is angle sum property of the quadrilateral is 360 degree we need to prove it not by doing any theoretically but by doing practically and with paper cutting and pasting method along with that i will teach you how to write the down so without wasting time let's start it. for this obviously we need the activity plus in mathematics book or your lab activity copy then after a color paper and ruler and two paints as we have already taken in the previous video and gum and a pair of scissors First of all, as you know that we have to fill up our index. Next, we need to write the aim of the object. That is to verify by paper cutting and pasting that the sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. So here in this video we are going to check convex polygons as well as the concave quadrilaterals. Next, the materials required are color paper, a pair of scissors, gum. Along with that, you can take the help of the some sketch pens, but do not use the red pen and green color pen, as you know that. your teacher is using the red color pen and the head of the school is using the green color pen so do not use those two colors except that you can take any other color pens next the process you first we need to draw quadrilateral a b c d and then we have to name the internal angles as 1 2 3 4 5 then we will color those angles The fourth point is using a pair of scissors. We will take out the cut pieces of those angles. Next, the fifth point. Now we will paste those cutouts of those angles of angle one, two, three, and four in such a way that. they all will coincide with one point and there will be no gap in between them so let's start it first of all here i need to tell you that we will not take only one example here we are going to take many quadrilaterals maybe convex or concave and many other trees also so the first one for quadrilateral here i am going to take a square and i am going to give it the name as 1 2 3 4 oh. similarly the next one is the rectangle here you can see that the length part i am taking here 5 cm and the breadth part is 4 cm So it's a rectangle. Similarly, name all those angles as one, two, three, four. Next, the third figure as you can take it as a parallelogram, but actually it is not a parallelogram. Um, it's quite similar to that, but it is a quadrilateral as it is having four sides. Do the same for all. You can take different different type of quadrilateral, but after drawing the quadrilateral, kindly don't forget to name those angles as one, two, three, four because you are going to color it. Then this is the fifth one. That one is the concave quadrilateral. And in the previous video. we are very well known about it what is convex polygon what is concave polygon now name the same as 1 2 is 3 and 4 now the next work is to color those angles to so do the same as shown in the video what 
watch the video till the end and do not skip the video or else you will miss some very important information regarding this activity. Here we are done. We have already colored it. Now what we need to do? We will cut one by one all the feathers. But we have to trim it properly. Now we will cut the angles separately. Angle one, two, three, and four. Now do the placement so that we can check that whether we are correct or not. Now we will paste all those cutouts and there should not be any gap in between them as for our procedure. So here you can see that we have pasted all these four cutouts of angle 1, 2, 3, 4 and they all coincide in the center and they all form the complete angle that is 360 degrees. Right now we will name them as only according to the number that is number 1 is complete. Let's go for the number 2 which is a rectangle. We will do the same. First we will trim them and after we will cut all the angles which are already numbered and colored and then after we will do the placement then we will paste it and we will repeat the same process with all those five quadrilaterals Do the same for the third quadrilateral, trim it, cut out all the angles and paste it. Before pasting, first do the placement so that whenever we will paste it, it will be in the correct way and there will be no mistake. So here also you can see that all those four angles coincide at a point and they can form the complete angle. Now the fourth quadrilateral which is quite looking like rhombus. The same thing, cut out the angles and paste them. If you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon for further notification and if you like this video please do like it and share it with your nearer and dearer ones. Next the last one which is a concave quadrilateral and here also we will do the same. First we will trim the quadrilateral then after we will cut out all those angles cut this one as shown in the video because this is quite different from others. Now do the placement. Check it. Yes. They also form the complete angle in the center. Now you can paste it. Just keep that in your mind that there should be no gap in between those so here it is done. This is the number 5. For the number 6 which is the different one for this we have to draw another rectangle. Now draw a diagonal. Now trim the rectangle and cut out those two triangles out of it. 
as you know that angle sum property of a triangle is what now the sum of the internal angles of the triangle is equal to 180 degree so here we are going to use that property but beforehand let's check about all others that quadrilateral that we have already found so here what we are observing that in the center of all the quadrilateral exactly complete angle are formed that is 360 degree now we will paste those cut pieces of the triangles and after joining we can get that we are getting the two triangles which can form a rectangle and angle sum property of triangle is 180 degree so twice of 180 degree is equal to 360 degree but here i want to show you one bonus part that angle sum property is equal to of a triangle is equal to 180 degree so for that take a triangle name those angles as 1 2 3 and take out all those angle pieces repeat the same process as like as you have already done for the quadrilateral but here we are getting only the three angles so let's see what will happen in the next now we are going to paste them one by one without having any gap in between them so this is the second one now we are going to paste the third angle and this border line is our actually the measurement of the scale which is exactly of 180 degree and this is the last piece that is one so here we go what we come to know that adding of angle 1 2 3 we are getting 180 degree so what we come to know this is the know that angle sum property of a triangle is 180 degree now this time is to write the observation what do we observe from this cutting and pasting of this paper what we come to know that from figure 1 2 3 4 and 5 we come to know that it is observed that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to 360 degree or one complete angle but from figure 6 we come to know that two triangles are forming that is 360 degree in any how we are proving it here that angle sum property of a quadrilateral is 360 degree so the last one is the conclusion part we have to finish it the activity here by writing that what we come to know the sum of four angles four internal angles of a quadrilateral may be this convex or concave is 360 degree thank you so much to watch this video till the end if you like this video do don't forget to like this video till then bye bye